So tell us what you wanted to be when you grew up. You know, I actually don't have any idea. Many people have these fond memories of their childhood and what their parents did to them and what they did to their parents. Life sort of started for me about the eighth grade when I was 13 and I discovered basketball. That was the greatest discovery of my life. Everything up till then had sort of been sherbet and finally the ice cream was served. So I concentrated on playing basketball. When did I do that? In the morning, in the afternoon, at night, while I was sleeping, while I was walking, while I was in class. But it became the fervor of my life. What I found is that it eliminated a lot of the other problems that I might have thought about at the time. For example, when I was 15, I was a sophomore in high school. I was diagnosed with diabetes. What was the difficulty? There wasn't any difficulty. The faster I could get out of the doctor's office and back onto the basketball court, the better I liked it. And uh, how did I handle the diabetes? Well, that's very interesting. This was 1948 and uh, I had a great doctor. I had the original diabetic doctor, Dr. Elliot Joslin, who ran the Joslin Clinic in Boston. And he had a diagnosis for diabetes. What do you do? You take insulin every day, you exercise every day, and you watch your diet. It's an amazing cure for humanity. And I think if people would pay heed to that today, their lives would be a lot better. But in any case, uh, basketball carried me through high school and many of the difficulties that would otherwise have uh, been submitted to the disciplinary activ activity of the Jesuits. 